Right, give people an idea of what I'm eating at the moment. It's, uh, it's keto, keto meals, or I, I guess you could say it's lazy keto. Basically, I bought some uh, close cooked mushrooms. Um, you can get sliced, but um, I quite like these actually. So, basically, pretty much what I do just brush off any uh, soil, although you know. <laughs> a bit of extra protein, eh? I'll just uh, give them a quick slice. Got myself some garlic today and a garlic crusher. I've got like, you know, um, oh, I've got a, what is it, garlic salt that I've been using. But I wanted to get some uh, fresh garlic and um, in the meals as well. So, anyway, basically what I'm doing is I've put some peppers already, some sweet red peppers, in, um, in here with about a tablespoon of um, extra virgin olive oil. And basically, I'm just bunging everything in there. Uh, I'm just going to like brown it off. Uh, this is pretty much what I've been eating off and on. Um, you know, I like to spice it up with, you know, like a different meat or something. But I, you know, one one night I'll have like um, I don't know, ham in it, and then the next night I'll have maybe some sausages cut up. Tonight I've got the um, Bramley and apple uh, pork sausages. I cooked those last night. Um, I've had. Oh, I, I ate one. I ate one cold. <laughs> over, I don't know. I think it was about eleven o'clock at night. I just fancied it. Fancied a snack. So yeah, normally with mushrooms, I just shove in like um, I don't know, a handful or something like that, or two handfuls. But, uh, yeah, get on. There's enough there. Uh, I mean, these punnets are what 95p or something. Yeah, I think we'll stick one more in. Do you like me mushrooms? Do you like me mushrooms? And with my teeth uh, being so shit, it's an easy, um, it's an easy food to uh, put in. Right, we've got these peppers in. I cut me onions last night. Um, you probably laugh, but. All my, all my, uh, my, when I wear my onions, <laughs> when I wear, wear my onions, when, when I, when I cut my onions, I put these goggles on, and then um, I don't cry then. Uh, so anyway, these are, these are red onions, basically just slice these up, I, I might put like, I don't know, like a quarter in or something like that, I do like my red onions though. Nice bit of flavour, and um, good for the old uh, good for the old blood and all that, isn't it? Yeah. And of course, me, you know, breath probably keeps the uh, vampires away and <laughs> everybody else. And I'm sure the horse flies about the, the the taste of my onion and garlic soaked blood. I certainly did the other day. Bloody hell. There's horse flies were all over me, but then I was in a really swampy area, so that's pretty why. But um, anyway, I mean that's probably enough for tonight. I don't want to overdo it. I like to do it. I do like me on the inside. Yeah, you know, it's like a cheap, cheap bed, yeah. I've got my wooden spoon. And uh, basically just keep stirring it up and all that, you know, get it all browned off. It takes like, I reckon, 20 minutes or something like that to get it browned off. The only thing I didn't have last night was any broccoli. You like me broccoli, apparently the, you eat broccoli and you've got a 40% chance, 40% less chance, getting prostate cancer. But apparently masturbation is really good for prostate cancer as well, so I should be fucking alright for the next hundred years. Yeah. 
so generally just like the ends I don't really like I mean I don't really like the stalk you know um, so I'll just like just chop it up and shove it in and you know brown it off for the rest of the stuff well, if there's a bit of stalk I'll, I'll cut it up keep it in there okay. so I can so I can chew a bit of it but yeah broccoli supposed to be really good for you keep those cancers away and uh, apparently the your scientists um, they they took the um, I can't remember the hell it's called like an alka alkalide or alka alkaloid or I can't friggin pronounce it anyway they took they took this chemical out of the broccoli and they added it with bloody turmeric and uh, they stuck it in a tablet and they started giving it to people who've got like I don't know, bowel cancer and colon cancer and shit like that and it's supposed to like I don't know, kill the cells or whatever. Yeah. But anyway, I like I like a bit of broccoli. Never used to as a kid. Fucking hated it actually. But then you know what? I like uh, I, I hated Brussels sprouts. Still hate Brussels sprouts. I mean seriously, when you cook them at Christmas. Well, when when I used to smell them cooking at Christmas in people's houses, and I used to think, yeah, it smells like dirty nappies. Pretty bloody it tastes like it as well. Yeah, anyway, those two bits of the those two bits are still a bit big. They can go in the bloody bin. So, so that's probably enough broccoli. Don't want to go crazy now, do we? Right. So here we go. That's enough broccoli. Yeah. Right, so then we've got uh what else have we got here? Uh right, dummy dummy onions, dummy mushroom, dummy broccoli, need a bit of cheese as well. I want the cheese. And keto keto is all about fats and protein, but I quite like this stuff. It's fifty percent uh less fat, get it from I could get it from Aldi, I think. Oh no, no, I'll get it from Lidl. Well, you might be able to get it from Aldi as well. But, um, you know, it's low sugar, which is uh, what you want. You know, it's got saturates and shit like that. But, like this guy, Dr. Eric Berg, what he says on YouTube, it's not the fats that cause the problems in your body. It's, it's the sugar. It's the processed sugar, which I, you know, I quit the boiled sweets and I quit the milk chocolate back in November 2020. I uh, recently uh, quit crisps. I think uh, when was it? Twenty third, twenty third of May this year. I quit the crisps. Uh, I've still got a few sort of crackers and stuff like that, but they're like cracker bread. You know, the uh, Rivita cracker bread that I get from like home bargains. It's like nine nine p a packet or something, and it's nice with like, like a little bit of low sugar peanut butter and that, which I love. Um, you know, I might even be a little bit decadent and add like, um, I don't know, 95% chocolate scraped over it or, you know, whatever. But, um, yeah, so a little bit of cheese, I like that. And then I've got my sausages. So, uh, so basically, you see, yeah, uh, there's my there's me sausages. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slice them and dice them and uh, add those into the mix. I mean normally when I do like six sausages it'll last me a few days because you know like slice them in and whatever and that then is probably slice like another one and keep like three sausages for like tomorrow and uh, the following day Because that's like the cheese and my um, cheese and sausage is sort of like my fat, my saturated fats. 
So shove that in. That's probably enough. Although I do like a bit of sausage. No, uh, <laughs> sounds fucking wrong, don't it? <laughs> sounds like a bit of sausage, yeah, but no. Uh, I will stick another half in it. And then I've got two and a half for tomorrow. I've got loads of sausages in the freezer. So basically when I need them, I just, uh, I just take them out and shove them in the oven while I'm cooking the, uh, the other dinner. Well, that in the room here. I'll shove that in there somewhere. Yeah, I'll close just to that. So shove that in. Now I've got some garlic, but I'm not sure. I'm not even sure how to cook garlic. Well, not cook garlic. How to get out the thing? I mean, it's got like bulbs in it. I mean, it's got these bulbs. I mean, are you supposed to like peel, peel the bulbs? I mean, how the freaking hell do you peel it? I mean, last time, you know, there's a thing here, I, I, I got this today, it's a, a garlic crusher thing, I got that from Morrison's, when I was out getting some trainers for my birthday, so, I mean, I'm guessing, wait, I don't know, do I, do I, do I peel bowls and then shove it, shove it, squidge it, and I don't know, it's confusing. I mean, the last time I had these, I peeled them, but I got I got bloody garlic under my fingernails, and the poor bat thing wouldn't come near me for a week. That's it. That's a curry fingernails. Sorry, it's curry fingers in um, washing up the cream sugar, and um, try and get all the garlic smell out. And then basically I got like a lemon and I cut a hole in it and I shoved my fingers in it one after another. Good job I didn't have any paper cuts. And then um, it sort of killed the smell then. But, uh, poor bat thing. I don't think he liked the smell of garlic. Fortunately he didn't lick my fingers. His uh, garlic is um, toxic to cats. Like I said, I've got the garlic salt, but I, I just I wanted to add some fresh garlic because garlic's good for your blood and it's an antioxidant and stuff like that. And so I'm hoping, uh, I'm hoping I'm sort of uh, between that and the detox juice, it'll help detox my my liver and whatever else. So anyway, we've got two there. I think I'm going to probably try and get three in there. <laughs> yeah. was, uh, I mean, considering Bella's got fish breath, I mean, last night her breath, oh my god, give her a tiny amount of tuna, about like a tablespoon. I made sure it was. Um, Made sure it was tuna in, what was it, spring water, but but not tuna in brine. So I didn't want to, you know, I don't want to have too much salt or anything. So I've got this, uh, got this tuna in spring water. And I give her about a tablespoon of tuna. And then later on, I went for a kiss, you know, picked her up in my arms, like I used to do with that thing. And I went in for a kiss and she opened her mouth. She yawned in my face. Uh, it friggin' stank. It stank of tuna. So she's gonna have to put up with garlic breath tonight. She is gonna friggin' love that. Not. So, right. Got the garlic crusher. This is fucking gosh, this there. So shove the garlic, garlic in there. All right, might have to do it one at a time. Might have to do it one at a time. So, so basically, what we'll do is we'll try just crushing it. Oh god, come on! Bloody hell! That's hard, isn't it? Because you've all bought a good quality one. Oh, there you go. All right. So, oh, oh that's not working. Hold on. Something's wrong here. All right. So, what am I supposed to do with the? What am I supposed? To, ow! Forget I'm going to cut your finger off. Ah, oh, there we go. Right. So, 
So it sort of crushes it, sticks it through. Oh god, it's going all over the place. So it crushes it, sticks it through the holes, and then you have to like just scrape it off with a knife or something. I'm assuming. Do you know I'm shit at this cooking like Fucking Sammy used to. Sammy used to cook all the time. Oh god, what have I got on that? Oh, that's a bit of freaking. Oh no. Oh god, there's a bit of bloody. There's a bit of thing on that. Isn't there? There's a bit of right. Try that now. All right, there we go. Oh, it's not perfect. Do you know what? It's not friggin' perfect. But do you know what? My dinner ain't perfect. I mean, Christ. You know, some people name no name no names like right? you know. Hey, John. Some people have absolute friggin' whizzes in the kitchen and they could like make like a meal for like five thousand but i mean if i was like jesus it'd be like yeah bread and water mate that's it you know can't even make the water into wine no nope. right all right yeah do you know what it's not perfect but it'll It'll have to do, oh god, yeah it'll have to do, so that it can do on the wash. Right, a little bit of garlic, and I'm going to clean all that crap. I've got some crap that I've got to clean from last night. So I'm just going to brown this off. It's going to take a while. But pretty much, that's what it looks like. So pretty much that, that is my dinner. And then what I do is once it's browned off, I add, uh, get a couple of eggs, put the eggs in a jug, whisk it up, show it on top, brown, you know, keep sort of, you know, brown it off or whatever. So the the egg, uh, what's the word? Coagulates, I guess. Yeah. Okay. For want of a better word. And then once the egg is sort of like all, you know, mashed up and together and cooked and all that, then I shove the cheese on and then just let that melt and then I turn it over, brown it off a little bit more and then stick it on a plate and uh, that's it, that's pretty much it. I mean the garlic is, you know, and all the other flavours and shit like that, that's what gives gives it the flavour, you know. There's no sauces or nothing like that because sauces are just full of sugar and uh, I am really, really trying to quit sugar. I mean I'm down to we're down to 13 stone at the moment so i was nine stone uh, sorry th oh, nine stone. i was 13 stone nine and i'm 13 stone dead now and so i've lost nine pounds since the 26th of the fifth but it was only in the last what four days five days i've started really doing any exercise before that i was just like you know pussy game and then on the vr but and that's it you know but you know, my little teddy passing on, he's um, just giving me that sort of kick up the ass that I needed to um, to really sort myself out and go out and get some walks and, you know, stick my music on and listen to me, my trance music and, you know, lose that weight. I mean, I could pro ideally, I think my ideal weight is probably like 11 and a half stone. I mean, yeah, I'd probably, I'd probably be able to, you know, hide behind a bloody matchstick, but... Uh, I think that's what my ideal weight is. Certainly need to get down to at least 12. So another stone would be good. And I reckon eating this stuff will probably do it. Um, and the only other thing I've got is um, I've got like my peanut butter thing. Which my baby, my little baby's come in. So I've got this little peanut butter stuff. Oh no, it's not that one. It's, uh, it's this one here. Oh. Sorry, cat. Sorry, oh, Bella. Bella should come in to get some. No, that's not it. That's not it. That's me onions. Oh my god. Right, where is? Oh, no, it's right at the back. I need a bigger fridge. To be honest, I need a bigger fridge. Right, I don't know why I've got that in one container, but never mind. So basically, this here, that there, that is my peanut butter non-bake. Uh, it's basically like a cup of peanut butter, like walnuts, pecans, all sort of chopped up, and then there's like a teaspoon, oh no, a tablespoon of uh, coconut oil, and um, 
what's it the uh, oh there's about like half a cup and 95 percent of either uh, dark chocolate and then there's like loads of other nuts like dried peanuts and salted nuts i think i had oh and i added two tablespoons of honey but even though there's honey in it it was like i mean the tray was uh, wait a minute the tray was like literally i don't know i don't know a foot long like six inches wide so you know there's at the end of the day there's not a lot of sugar in it and basically what i've been doing is i've been surviving off that and um i'm pretty much just having like two of those um you know in the, maybe in the morning or one in the morning one in the afternoon you know when, when you know when i haven't felt like eating properly um, and i've been pretty much living on that but um sort of pre i'd say pre made time uh, i was getting a lot of hypos um i was definitely borderline type 2 diabetes and pretty much in six weeks i've reversed it and now i can go pretty much all day with just having one of those peanut butter squares until i get my meal five six o'clock in the evening and then um, i'll just drink you know some detox juice which is my celery ginger and lemon and mix it with a bit of water you know just to sort of uh, soften the acidity of it and then that that is me then until the next morning and then um, you know if we're going out for a walk i'll you know i might take a banana with me or i might even just take some i've got some glucose tablets and i'll just take those uh, i won't even take a bottle of water and then i'll walk like seven and a half eight miles and then when I come back, I'll have a banana and maybe another peanut butter segment. And that's it. I mean, Dr. Eric Berg, YouTube, he, he's the guy that got me sorted. You know, he, he's all into keto and, and all that. And, you know, he, he's um, very informative. You know, his videos are really good. That's what got me started. And um, so, anyway, I'm going to just sort of leave that cooking or whatever else. And I will catch you again.